Hi, welcome to the TouchUp Direct Aerosol video. In this video, we're going to show you just how easy it is to repair a scratch or damage on your car using a TouchUp Direct Aerosol can. And to help us with our project, the Angelina Jolie of TouchUp Paint Videos, Boris. Say hi, Boris. Hi. In this case, we're going to focus on the aerosol can. Your first step is to assess the damage that you're trying to repair. Assess where you're going to be working. This is the bumper here. You don't want to get any damage, any scratches from the sandpaper on that part of the bumper. So it's a 500 grit sandpaper which you start sanding this area. Then you dry it really good with any paper towel, rag, anything like that. Prep the surface to get it ready to prime. There we go. Now that we're done cleaning up, taping, masking everything off, touch up direct premium cut cloth. We're gonna open it up separate it a little bit and clean up the dust that might be left behind. Every time you're going to spray, make sure everything is clean. Every time you coat on it, um, you're going to spray downward because we do, remember we have the double, um, the um, tape bent here, which is a back tape, so we don't have a hard edge. And you spray. There you go. There you go. You put one coat, we're gonna wait a few minutes, then we're gonna put another coat. Sometimes if you put too much primer, it's gonna run. We want to try and avoid that. That's why we do uh, two, three, four coats at times. Now we're gonna start retaping everything. Yeah, it's a little bit of work, but you know what? It looks great after you're done. You can take the tape off, you see, you're going to see the back tape line right there, which is this one here. That's what we want to get nice and smooth so that you cannot feel it. You have to feather it. If you see a straight line, you need to go more, like feather it like this. There we go. So now we can take the tape off. Clean up the surrounding areas. Once you've successfully applied your primer, you're now ready to prep it for color. Touch up direct. It's water-based paint. So remember to take the can very well. What you're gonna do you're gonna try and stay where the primer is, okay? Spray that only to that area the first, the first couple of coats or until it's covered. And then we're gonna do a little blend. So same thing, this is all done. Little test panel. So you're gonna to have to be about eight to 12 inches away from the area. And don't, uh, don't press the, the, the trigger too fast, you know, just, just kind of like you're gonna fan it. See, there you go, you're fanning it. You're spraying downward. All right, now we waited the proper amount of time. We're gonna apply a second coat on it. Remember, downwards. And try and get it covered. Put another light coat on it. All right, we have our third coat in there. We're gonna make sure that we have everything covered. Look around every area and make sure you have enough paint. All right, now that we got coverage, everything is there. We're gonna do a little mist coat, kind of like that, so that everything kind of blends in. And there you go. And 
that's your control coat. Now that the color is applied and you have good coverage, you're ready for clear coat. All right, now we got everything done. This is a touch up direct clear coat. And where you're shaking the can, you're not gonna hear the agitator that's inside because it doesn't have one. You don't need one of these. So after you shake it well enough, make your pass, your test pass, and then go overlap about 50%. Remember, you're spraying down in the top. And that's it. This is gonna be our second and most likely our last coat. So we're gonna go a little bit heavier on it. Make sure that you're shaking the can, the spray can. Do your pass, and here we go. We're gonna do these areas first, and then we go, we're gonna go 50%, oh, I'm sorry, to 75% on it, and that's gonna be it. Once the clear coat has thoroughly dried, you can wet sand, buff, and polish, as you can see Boris doing. Make sure that we have everything nice and smooth, and then we're gonna polish. Once we polish it, we're gonna be able to see how everything came out. This is gonna bring out the gloss on the clear that we applied to 2003. Wet sand it, and we're gonna start polishing. Clean it up. Use touch up direct polishing compound. Open it. What I do is I use a little rag I apply some in the rag and I use a circular motion to polish. There we go. And this will bring up the sheen in this area. As you can see, it's already looking much, much better. Then you get a dry area on the rag and polish it off. How's it looking guys? Good. It looks muy beautiful. There you go. With these simple steps, you've restored your car to factory finish, protected it from corrosion, and saved some money along the way. Thanks for using Touch Up Direct.